I love Facebook, but how many of these things have you noticed? We all have that friend who's constantly changing their relationship status. One day they're single, the next day they're in a relationship, the next day they got engaged, then all of a sudden it's complicated, and then all of a sudden it's single again. It's what we call the Facebook circle of life. We all know people like this. I call them classic oversharers. They write long things with so many personal details. They're bad mouthing their boss and they're going on about a date they had. And you think to yourself, this is too much. Please, before you actually hit post, just think it through a little bit. Everybody's gonna see this. It's a lot of personal details. Give that some thought, okay? Now, for every oversharer that there is, there's always the classic undersharer. Then they get on there and they say something like, oh, today has been the worst day ever. What do you mean worst day ever? A worst day like you got a diagnosis? Or worst day like somebody ate your lunch out of the refrigerator at work? Without any details, I don't know how to respond to that. At first, I get the instinct of like, tell me more. But then I get a bigger instinct that says, wait a second, I don't really want to hear more. I can't stand these people who post about their workouts. They get on and they're like, oh, I just ran 6.2 miles. You know what, good for you. Now maybe it just makes me feel bad because while I'm reading it, I'm probably laying on my couch eating cookies and watching Fleabag. I drove 55 miles today in my car. You don't see me posting about it. Yeah. And this is why you'll never find me in a gym. And what's the deal with couples who are sharing a Facebook account? I mean, we know what the deal is. The only question is, which one was it? Have you ever noticed when your friends share about a celebrity who died? The only problem is that celebrity died like three years ago and they're first posting it now. I mourn Gene Wilder, I love the man, but I got over the grief three years ago. You know, it's time for all of us to just, you know, move on. Please, check the date of the article that you're about to share because Doris Roberts cannot keep dying. The only thing worse than when they post about somebody who died three years ago is when they post that somebody died that didn't die. Or they're trying to start a rumor. And you know who I'm talking about, Sam. Tom Selleck is alive, alive and well. You know, I find as I scroll through my timeline, if I'm being honest with myself, all I'm really looking for are cute dogs and people falling. I don't know what it is, but apparently that must just be my thing. Have you ever noticed every one of us gets hacked? And when we do, we treat it like it's nothing. We all do the exact same thing. We just put out a post that says, don't accept any Facebook friend requests from me. I got hacked. I can't stand it when people ask for prayers for mundane things. It's not my responsibility to make sure your daughter does well on her test. That's her responsibility. She should sit with her books and study, take the test, and whatever she gets, she gets. You know, if God's gonna help her, that's cheating. Prayer should be reserved for things where human power is simply not enough. But don't put your daughter's test on me. I don't need that. You can become Facebook friends with people for like the craziest reasons. I'm Facebook friends with somebody that I've never actually even spoken to, but we just rode the same elevator every day. Now we're in each other's lives. We used to ride the elevator together. That's right. That's the entire basis of our friendship. Courthouse. We rode an elevator together. I can't stand it when a couple wishes each other a happy anniversary or a happy birthday on Facebook. Isn't this person just two feet away from you? Why don't you just lean over and say happy birthday? Give them a kiss. Give them more than a kiss. Yeah. Why not? It's their birthday. I mean, be happy, but be happy privately. And we all have that dramatic friend who, who likes to deactivate their Facebook and then two weeks later, they're reactivating their Facebook. And a month later, they're deactivating their Facebook. And we're all thinking to themselves, what kind of crazy, nonsense, dramatic life are you lead? You can always tell the difference between a picture that somebody posted of themselves, and they're like, and a picture that somebody else posted of them, and they're like, have you ever had that experience? You see a photograph and it's got all your buddies in it, and you think to yourself, why wasn't I invited to it? It looked like they had a lot of fun without me. I can't stand it when people post a group picture as their profile picture, and I don't know who the person is. Which one is it? They don't even have the courtesy to be standing in a way where I could assume it's the person in the middle. It could be her profile picture. Well, why would this be her profile picture? Profile picture should be just a face shot of the person that, that, that has that page. That's what it should be. Do any of you have a friend who so heavily filters their pics that they become virtually unrecognizable? 
I have friends that I've known for 30 years, and I couldn't pick them out of a lineup based on their filter pick. Here's a phenomenon that gets under my skin. When I post something, and at first the comments are all about my post, as it should be, but then you get people who start having side conversations back and forth to each other on my post. And I keep getting a notification every time. Then this one says, we need to get together sometime. And this one says, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and get together. I don't even get invited to that get together. Keep your comments specific to my post. If you liked each other that much, why aren't you messaging each other privately? You wouldn't have even spoken to each other if it weren't for my post. Go get your own post. I mean, it does look like a good recipe. Sometimes you just have to surrender to it. Has anybody read about Gene Wilder? Turns out he died. <gasps> Cry face. All that said, I still love Facebook. I can't stay off of this thing. Which familiar characters did I leave out? If you recognize any of your friends, tag them in it and tell them, who does this remind you of? And if you're not following my fan page, follow Ed Herman of Ed Versus because you're going to be the ones getting the first look at every new thing I'm working on.